Hi, my name is Christina Mogg, and I am here to talk to you about motivation at Micron. Um, I wanted to start off talking about motivation, and motivation is trending as a hot topic in companies today. Um, it's a key um, element in retention and attraction of the top of top talent. Uh, it's also appealing to the new workforce, millennials. Millennials are the newest kids on the work block, and um, they need a line of sight. They need to apply meaning to their work so they can align with the company's strategy and vision. Um, another hot topic is diversity and inclusion, um, and it is definitely linked with motivation. It's a top priority for companies. It helps to find corporate culture, um, and it also is a big contributor to team member engagement. Um, team member engagement motivation increases innovation and it also helps with employee retention and attraction. Um, we decided to do motivation at Micron because they are a leader in the Treasure Valley, um, but also around the world in semiconductor um, mem and memory products. Uh, they started about 40 years ago in Boise and they were a small company and now they're a global company with over 30,000 employees, two thirds of which are in Asia. Um, and they have a new CEO from the Silicon Valley. So I will um, like to close this with just how important motivation is and you know what Micron's doing to make an impact in their strategy in regards to motivation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Katherine Hunter. Today I will be talking about motivation and management at Micron. Managers at Micron are very conscientious of the health of their employees. Healthy employees equal happy employees in most regards for different companies. As employees at Micron go through the onboarding process, they are given a Fitbit to track their steps, um, activity, stair climbing, different ways which they are active. They then download this information into their computer and as an incentive for staying healthy, they are given gift cards for different stores or places which they like. Another way which Micron keeps their employees motivated are to have team volunteering days. A friend of mine who works for Micron was telling me about her team who went together to the Idaho Food Bank to work for the day. She said she really enjoyed this because she got to know her fellow employees in a different way and loved working together as a team. They make a great team at work and they also made a great team volunteering together. Micron also allows their employees an allotted amount of time to volunteer in the community at places which they are passionate about. This could be the Idaho Food Bank, the Boise Bicycle Project, their children's school, Wherever they want, the employee is given an allotted amount of time and they are paid their hourly salary to do this. Giving back to their community is so important to Micron. One of the final ways that employees are recognized is when they do a good job in their team and for the company, they are given the option of uh, being recognized in a group setting with their team, or if they don't like that, then they can be recognized just in a private meeting with their supervisor. Motivation is something which Micron is working on, and because the tech industry is so competitive, they know that this is an area of opportunity for them and is something that they are working toward to help to motivate their employees. Thank you. Hello, my name is David Ogle, and I'm going to walk you through the current approach to motivation in the workplace uh, from Micron and specifically looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the organization. 
So a recent Gallup poll shows that up, upwards of 70% of all employees in the workplace are disengaged. So Micron, like many organizations, need to have programs in place that keep associates focused, uh, motivated, and inspired to do quality work for both themselves as well as for the organization. So looking at some current strengths that Micron has in place, um, they have some really great programs that keep associates uh, and employees feeling very uh, rewarded, engaged, and motivated to do great work. Uh, they have an ideas, rewards, and recognition program, as well as a STAR program. Uh, and these programs allow associates to, to be recognized for achieving great things in the workplace uh, and adding value to both their team as well as the organization as, as a whole. Uh, team lunches are another great tactic that is used by the organization. Uh, obviously, as an individual, uh, most in most major companies, you work in a team setting or in a department. Uh, so having team camaraderie and rapport with those around you is really important, uh, both for individual growth and development, but also for recognition from your peer group. Uh, giving Stock Equity Awards is a really great program that allows uh, employees to feel valued and have a long-term vested interest in the organization, so that is a truly great incentive. Uh, base pay increases uh, that typically come with uh, annual performance reviews. Uh, so again, an associate can feel uh, rewarded and be rewarded for great work by receiving a bump in their base pay on a yearly basis. So that is a, a really great incentive uh, for all employees. And then just cultural awareness. So Micron being a multinational company, uh, they have offices in many countries around the world. Uh, so what uh, is really important from a motivation standpoint and what is valued might be different from one country to the next. Uh, so, for example, in Japan, uh, recognition and motivation and rewards are typically uh, more private and given more on a one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, but say in Singapore, those things are generally uh, more celebrated on a public level or in a group setting, lots of signage, uh, so forth and so on. So, uh, Micron is very aware of the cultural differences in its offices around the world, and it makes sure that its recognition and rewards programs uh, are matching that. From a weakness standpoint, uh, we had an interview conducted with Mike Ziegler, who is the Vice President of Human Resources Operations and Services for Micron, and he shared uh, three specific things that are opportunities currently for the company. Uh, one is the company tends to reward results, but not necessarily the steps that you take to get to those results. So um, obviously in a stressful or, or action-packed environment, uh, we all have deadlines to meet and we want to produce great work, uh, but sometimes and the steps in which you take to, to get those goals is just as important as the goal. So the company taking a step back and making sure they're rewarding those things as well is very important. Um, long hours does not mean you are a better worker. Uh, so in many companies, there is a culture that uh, putting in long hours means that you are uh, a better employee than others. And as we all know, that is not necessarily the case. Uh, Work-life balance is very important and very critical. Uh, and just because you're at the office longer than somebody else doesn't make you a better employee or even maybe you should not be recognized just for doing that. Uh, and then last but not least, flexible work schedule. So uh, whether this means working from home or being able to come in at different hours than, than the standard, um, this is a great benefit for many employees uh, to feel motivated and feel valued. Uh, however, currently in Micron, not every department is able to take part of that benefit. So uh, being able to continue to work towards creating a more balanced environment where all departments can feel a part, uh, that flexible work schedule will be very beneficial for the company. Thank you for your time. My name is Andy Clow, and these are our recommendations for improvement. Uh, Micron has a very good program in place for motivating its employees, and this program is based upon rewards and recognition. In addition to these successful programs, we'd also recommend changes to Micron's corporate culture. In particular, we would recommend changes to behaviors within the organization. Behavioral changes work quickly and they often influence other changes as well. We'd recommend a bottom-up approach. Um, Top-down approaches don't seem to work well. People uh, work better when, by doing rather than hearing what it is they should do. Uh, Micron should focus on critical behaviors first. They should try to duplicate these behaviors throughout the organization. Uh, once they have found what these behaviors are that they'd like to duplicate, they should enlist their informal leaders. These uh, informal leaders are the persons throughout the organization that really the other people look to for leadership. Uh, these can include price builders. These people are very aware of the culture that surrounds 
them and tend to know what motivates others. Exemplars are role models that are uh, looked to for examples of effective behaviors and skills from others. Also networkers, uh, they know many people throughout the organization in various departments and they communicate amongst them. Early adapters tend to be the first people to latch on to new technologies and ways of doing things. Utilizing the talents that each of these informal leaders possess are instrumental in influencing the culture within the organization and encouraging real change from the bottom up. Employee motivation and retention can also be improved through empowerment. When individuals and teams are given more control over their work and the amount of uh, approvals for decision making are decreased, their morale and performance will also increase. Leaders must be well trained in creating an environment that encourages empowerment for this to be successful. Open communication, rewards for self-improvement, and an environment where employees test new ideas without fear of failure are of paramount importance. Two widely practiced involvement and participation programs include participative management systems and representative participation programs. In participative management uh, programs, employees share a certain amount of decision-making ability with their superiors. This can occur both formally through briefings and surveys and informally through consultations. Representative participation programs involve a small group of representative employees in organizational decision-making. As a result, the interests of labor are more aligned with that of management and stockholders.